What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 in Inertia Colorway. So stick around! Before we start with the unboxing, I just want to remind you all that we are currently giving away 6 amazing Air Jordans. So if you haven't participated yet, please watch our video about the Air Jordan 1 Defiant Couture to see the mechanics. Since I saw the leaked photos last year of this inertias, I told myself that I will definitely get a pair. For me, this is easily one of the best TC700 that was ever released. A lot of people may argue that the Wave Runners are the best one, but personally for me, I prefer this colorway. The inertias were released two weeks ago. And it's the second release of the Yeezys for this year. I thought it would be easy for me to get this pair, but unfortunately, even though it is more available than the salts, I took an L for this pair. So I had to find a reseller that can give me a good price. And luckily, I found one. So now let's open the box. The Yeezy Boost 700 already have 4 colorways. The Wave Runners, the Mobs, the Salt, and this Bad Boys. Personally, this is the best colorway that they ever released. However, a lot of people may argue that it's the Wave Runner, but personal preference, I like this better. So, let's have a closer look. Just like the other 700s, this sneaker has a combination of suede material, mesh, leather, and some 3M hints. All the four panels of suede have different colors. On the toe, you have a light blue. On the medial and lateral side, in front, you have a, like a grayish color. Then, on this side, you have a lighter gray. And on the heel, you have an even lighter gray. The mesh material that they use on these sneakers also have different colors. The middle one and both this and this side are light gray while the, the side mesh that on in front is light blue. Now there's an even darker light blue on the tongue. As a signature of the 700s, you have the 3M hints on the, the lace locks here and here and of course the side 3 amps on both the medial and the lateral side. The midsole is predominantly gray although it has hints of light gray in front and uh, the eyelets over here which is in salmon. Now what's interesting is the color of the outsole. The outsole is um, sail color or milky white in color which is not your usual Yeezy 700 outsole. Not sure with the Wave Runners and the Mobs, but the Inertia has the Ortholite insole similar to the Salts, which is actually cool because it adds more comfort to the shoe. Again, I'm not sure if the Mobs and the Wave Runners has it, but just like the Salts, you will see inside a Yeezy logo. say it enough but I really love these sneakers and I can't wait to wear them so now I think it's time for some foot action
did you guys love how it looked? Please comment down below. Me, I personally loved it. Anyway, the price of these sneakers is at 300 US dollars on retail. However, on StockX, the prices range from 320 to 350 US dollars. DC released a lot of sneakers this month and they also announced that they will be releasing 30 more Yeezys this year. Wow, that's a lot. However, if you only have a budget for one sneaker, I believe that the Inertias is not a bad choice. I think that's about it. Again, I just want to remind you all that we have an ongoing giveaway for 6 amazing Air Jordans. If you haven't participated yet, I posted the mechanics and the link of the video below. So don't sleep on it. If you like this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Until next time.